our hero, Elgrin, is our choice! Oh! Oh! John, uh, Aaron had a big crash up in the top. One word to describe the last three weeks of my life. Challenging. That'll happen. This is what it is. That'll happen on the bigger jobs. Could be better. Seen it a thousand times. <laughs> I, don't know. I think we'll be okay. Because when you hit those big G outs and you go like like that with your ankles, it's like you're like ooh. <laughs> like, don't do that. You gotta ride like toes down a little bit. The ankle is good, man. I'm considering, all things considering. Looking like a flamingo out yeah, there. Bet. Compared to being 100%, it's not great, but getting better every day quite a bit. <laughs> so, we're gonna tape that thing up tight. <laughs> Give her all she's got. Are you excited to get asked about your ankle all weekend? Yeah, pretty excited. <laughs> it's either the ankle or the bike. Sam was parked at a hotel in Edinburgh to come to Fort William. And when he woke up, he got the bad news that the van had been broken into and Aaron's race bike had been stolen. Yeah, I gotta build another race bike. Cheers to whoever had that in line for me. Working hard, hardly working. Here we are, Fort William, 2019. We're back again. It's been a lot of years that we've been here. This is my sixth year in a row. First time here. I did eight World Cup and a BDS, so. This is my third time. It's a lot of firsts this year, that's for sure. Legendary racetrack, legendary venue, epic fans. They're not here now, but just you wait. The good thing is, we've got a large coming through from Saddleback here in the UK. And then we're just going to swap all my parts from my XL that I raced in Maribor onto that bike. And then I flew over with my race suspension, so we're going to be good to go. I think with the weather, it being wet here, the track is kind of manufactured out of gravel. So it doesn't really change. It just gets a bit drippier in the wet, really. I want it to be as hard as it can be so that everybody has to face the same challenge. You know, we made it to the top of the World Cup. Everybody's a good rider. The challenge isn't great enough and everybody's times are just super tight. Should uh, weed out these soft guys too. I'm afraid of it. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's what I say. So. So here we got the uh, classic midgy problem in Fort Bill. So I brought my no see -em baffler. Pretty much just baffles all the bugs. I can't get in. Yeah, I can see out, but they can't see in. We're going to the moon, AKA Nevis Range. Geared up correctly, ready for... You put your helmet on? Yeah. Over that? Helmet over. You want me to check your oxygen tank? Yeah. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the challenge this year is it's, it's the longest track we're gonna race. Well, with the track, I'd say it's just it's definitely rougher. Like they haven't done a lot of patchwork. It's hard to carry momentum and carry speed through the turns. It's not that steep. You gotta work for it a bit more. If it fits in the flow of the run and it's not something you have to worry about, then that's going to be a go-to line. I don't really want to go inside, so I'm just going to have to run it down the inside. I'll try the outside first. I'm not, the outside just like feeds you into that rock. That outside, that outside's no good. I mean, the inside might work because it's so grippy right now. I was like, why is everyone standing here? Yeah, jack my shoulder. Same. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's going to be wide. Put my ankle on. So you know you're like three or four runs less yeah, boy. than where you want to be on practice. It's hard enough to get at the speed at these races and like get your bike dialed in. So you just chop out four runs and then you have an injury. It's like, man, it's... So then your qualifying run's like your fifth run down the track. Oh, I mean, I'm a little proud of that spot. It's pretty good. 
and then everybody's just like crowding around the best spot has no idea it's like hidden in plain sight there's also like a danger of death sign on there so maybe that's a bit of a deterrent oh look we do there's like a full space in there Like times are tight and yeah, go to flow, made it out of sight. Yeah, quietly confident back here, even though the results sheet doesn't quite show what I want. I think every all the pieces are there. That's the goal, dude. Just gonna try to get some points. Sure, exactly how he did. I think we're somewhere in the 20s, maybe 30s. We'll see. Aaron went on course talk. I don't know, man. Like we're we're racing tomorrow, so I'm happy about that. But we'll make the most of it. I got in by the skin on me teeth. I got 55th. I definitely felt like the top. I just couldn't get in a flow. Felt like the headwind would just kept holding me back, and I was just getting super hooked up. Everything. So yeah, boy, we're on. I thought with that run too. I thought, oh, no dramas. I still think maybe I had a little bit of wind up top or something because I didn't ride any different today and I beat my ball flying time by seven seconds. No matter how prepared you are, like you could come down last, the wind can pick up up top and the whole track is just in the open. If you watch some of the guys, how the tape is blowing around so fierce, and then other guys, it's super calm. And like, can't do anything about that. And it's not something you want to complain and be like, oh, it was harder for me than somebody else. But I think that kind of makes it so interesting. It's like, it's a bit of a weird feeling. You want to show up just like red rip. It's hard enough as it is, so it sucks when you got something like a bit of the unknown. You see big time gaps at this track because the conditions just inconsistent with the wind rain. The stock run, like, it was good. Didn't do anything bad. Push harder. Ride a little bit. Close to the edge. Well, I didn't crash this weekend, which is good. I've definitely had my races in the past where I limped to the start lines. Jack's in like, I think eighth or ninth. Maybe Nico's in fourth or fifth. I felt like I rode pretty well at Maribor and, and today too I rode pretty well. And I was 10 places slower at Maribor, so. As long as I'm heading up the hill slightly, doesn't matter how steep, as long as I'm better than the last weekend, I'll be happy. It doesn't really get me very excited to be progressing from 30 second to 20 second, but it's still a step in the right direction. We got Aaron up in uh, 20 minutes. We both sort of have that look where if we're just sort of focused, we look pretty angry. It's yeah. not really the case. Resting, resting. anger face. Yeah. People say that to me all the time. They're like, dang, blue steel. And I'm like, I felt pretty happy inside. Yeah, I don't know. I'm good. Maybe we need to just smile more. I just... Oh, here we go. Superhero, Aaron is on So keep on the Sky and then the ground. Dirt. Like, sky. Yeah, you can't dirt. Do sky. You just like see the ground and you're like, I'm flying. And then you're like, bam. And you're like, I'm flying. <laughs> like, bam. Didn't know you felt in that. No. Thankfully, that was a big one. It's like coming in the left and all of a sudden, like, the bike just like slid and then I fucked and then, like, so I don't know if I flatted and just didn't realize it. And right as I went to push, it like squirmed or if I tucked the front on the bridge. Yeah, I've chalked this week up as a giver all. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> I feel like this chapter is closed. This chapter is done. The day is over and that chapter is over. The next chapter is that episode where everything starts to yeah. come back together. Next chapter.